Hey, hello. It is so good to be here. It is really good to be here. Um, thank you to all of you who've been asking, where have I been? And I'm going to tell you this. And as I share this with you, it may not be exactly in order. Um, and that gets to be okay, right? Because I get to turn this on because otherwise perfectionist in me is just going to keep going. And yes, I know. Look how long my hair is. <laughs> I know. I love it. So what happened is in January, created a program called Authenticity Becomes You, right? And we have our board for the year, which is play. Authenticity becomes you. You know, when you do this work, you follow your intuition, you follow what happens, you follow, you, you know, you follow the scent, as I say. You just follow the scent. And that's how it works for some of us, and that's how it works for me. So I follow the scent, authenticity becomes you. The workshop created it, and it was the most powerful workshop I have ever done. In fact, it was so powerful that a couple people said, it's too much. It's too much. And, you know, I, I totally understand that. And it was three days. It was only three days. And I knew it was powerful because, you know, when you are in your space of genius, which, you know, I talk about all the time, your zone of genius, when you're in your zone of genius, which for me is a connection with spirit, when I was in that place, I knew it was powerful, and I was following the following the scent. So, bottom line is, we ended up cracking the cosmic egg. This was February, I think. And one of the things that we did is we ended up ripping off a band aid off of day three. Well, unbeknownst to me, and it happened to everyone who stayed in stayed in that workshop is when we ripped off that bandage in February, it opened up a portal for all of us. And I'm going to speak to the portal that it opened up for me, and I've witnessed the portal that it's opened up uh, for everyone who has, had, has, you know, has been in, and has, uh, you know, that opened that up. So for me, what ended up happening is it took me to discovering, which I'd known about human design, and the gene keys, and I had known about it, but it started to lead me there. And I, I'm investigative. I'm an investigator. I like to dig in and throw things up, and that's why I was really a good programmer, a software programmer for fifty some years, because I was in, always investigating. So in this investigation, as I was going down the human design area, talking about authenticity, discovering that I'm a projector. Uh, is my design, and if you know anything about it, and if you don't, it's okay. It just means that for me, it gave me some information. And so as I started to go down that projector path, the work that I continue to do, it went from the cosmic egg to the golden egg to the black egg in the artwork that was showing up for me. And when the black egg appeared, my world went, it shifted. Relationships that I've had for years, changed, didn't know why, I couldn't figure it out, I, I didn't understand, I, I didn't know what was going on at the time and was unable to figure it out, but gone. And if you know something about my story, I had a dog uh, named Dylan, German Shepherd, that I loved, had for five years, he was traumatized, worked with him for five years, he was a great dog, he used to come home here, and he'd sigh, he would come in the door, I said, dude, and some of you know this story. And dude, I said, hey, buddy, you, uh, you know, because we'd left after the divorce and he, he didn't get the landing that he needed to have. So I said, hey, dude, you find your home. I will let you go. I gave him back his paw power. <laughs> and he did. He did. He found a home. He found a perfect home for him. He had a bromance. He has a bromance with a Great Dane. And the people loved him. He was perfect. There's nothing wrong with him physically, his bones, everything perfect. And so, and that was two and a half years ago. And so six months ago, I said, okay, I'm ready to have a dog again. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I was ready. But I said, I'm ready to have a dog again and no compromises. I want a golden retriever. And the golden retriever gets to find me. 
gets to find me because one, I'm, you know, they're expensive, but it also gets to find me. I get to, and sure enough, <laughs> a golden retriever did find me and he's absolutely perfect. And he became the loving shakeup I needed in my life because up until this point, I had become quite sedentary sitting here doing the work. I still hadn't totally shifted out of how, the work that I did before. And he became that. So also he shows up right about that time. And, and now I'm moving. I have to take him out more than once a day. So my whole life got shifted out. So, so where have I been? So where I've been is going down this shakeup, this shakeup of, of my life. And I've had clients and I've been in relationship with clients, but you know, haven't been showing up out in the open world because as I've gone down the world of the technology of, 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 of this new technology for me of human design and gene keys and beginning to apply it to smash booking and, it has been an experience. And when I'm in the middle of an experience, I don't have the voice to share it. I can only experience it. And I can experience it with people who are in the experience with me. So where I've been has been in that experience. And the reason why I'm here today and I'm able to have the voice is because I've been alpha testing how all that relates to cosmic smash booking, how it relates to what we're doing, we are doing. Notice how I'm including you. What what we are doing because that's how it works. I, I'm not able to teach what I don't know. I'm not able to teach what I haven't embodied in myself. It was the same thing with cosmic smash booking, how it came through, you know, through an embodiment, right? Transmission and embodiment. So that's where I've been. And the reason why I'm here today is because I also was decided to, to teach Cosmic Guides once this year, just once this year, which was scary, so very scary. And a number of people showed up and said yes, but by the time they'd come in in their lives, there was one person, one person left in Cosmic Guides. Okay, this is the way it gets to be. Right, because I'm trusting, accepting. <laughs> I do three things every day, and I always forget one, which means it's the one I get to do. Trust, acceptance. Hmm, it'll come to me, and it always bugs me. It'll come to me, and uh, okay, so off we go into cosmic guides. Then we get to we get to the cosmic guides portion in the program, and it be, it becomes clear that it's not working because I brought human design and gene keys into cosmic guides into the first part of, of cosmic guides, powerful, just amazingly powerful. So starting into the second part about coming coming at cosmic guides and it was shaky, it was wavy, and it wasn't working. And the person I'm doing it with also, you know, recognized it as well. And so, tomorrow, so I created the program. I've created a program, and I've been working the program. Again, that embodiment, and I've been working the program. And now, where before, if you've known my videos before, there was a dog named Dylan, and now there's a dog named Phoenix. Oh, it's gonna bark through all of this. You want to say hi, buddy? And this here is this here is Phoenix. You want to come up here? Come on, come here, come on. Hey, come here, come on. Say hi to everybody. Come on. Hey. And this here is Phoenix. So you'll be seeing a lot of Phoenix. That's for dang sure. And he's a big dog. And I'm thinking, like, what am I age am I doing with such a big, strong dog? But you know what? He's better than yoga. It's your buddy. Before him, I could not put my foot up. I could not pick my leg up, put it on my knee, and put my socks on. And just by working with him and going out with him, <laughs> I cannot do that, can I, buddy? So this is this is Phoenix rising from the ashes. I'm going to digress for a moment. He, he, I am his fifth owner in his two and a half years. 
I'm his fifth owner in two and a half years. And so my sister came up with the name of Phoenix and is great with his red hair. We, we're a red hair family. There's a cat, Cheetos, around here also who's red. So the house of Gingy. So tomorrow, tomorrow, entering into beta in this program called Authenticity Becomes You. You were born this way or Authenticity Becomes You. What was the other thing we said? Authenticity Becomes You. Um, oh, we had another name for it. Anyways, it'll come to me. Um, it will come to me. And we've been laughing about it. We've been laughing about it. Anyways, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. Right. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with you. You were designed to be exactly the way you were. So that program, so she and I are working on it in beta, going through it, embodying it in beta, and you'll be hearing more about that. But that's where I've been. Because where I've been since, this is February, March, here we are, May, because as a result of the work, as a result of the work, I can honestly, from my heart, tell you that I finally love myself, that I finally, finally get it. There's nothing wrong with me. Yes, transformation, that's different than something being wrong, right? But there's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with you. And as I'm doing this work, judgment falls away. How could I judge you for who you are? You just and the oneness with the oneness with nature. So it's been deep. It's it's been deep. So where I've been is embodying and investigating this new process that's coming up around authenticity becomes you. <laughs> you were born this way. Nothing wrong with you. And you'll be hearing more about that. So that's where I've been. Thank you so much for, for asking. I love you so much. You're always, always, always in my mind. It's what drives me forward. It is my mission. You are the engine that drives this forward. So here we go. It's also the opening of my YouTube channel, which I've been putting off for months. And what I've learned is I get to, it's not that I put it off. It's when the time, the time is right and the time is right now. So loving you fiercely.